Hello, and welcome to an overview of the controls for your Crown 5500 forklift. For a live demonstration of these features, please see my other video linked in the description below for a basic crash course. The first thing you will see when you enter the forklift will be this control panel, which is located here. In order to start the forklift, you will have to have both feet firmly planted on the floor. Your left foot will be on top of the dead man pedal, which also acts as an emergency brake. Turn the key to the right and hold it for one to two seconds before releasing, and the machine will start. Once you have started the machine, the battery bar will illuminate. You can see it has five bars. Make sure you pay close attention to this, because if your forklift dies, there will be no way to move it without another forklift assisting you. Next, we will go over the multifunctions on your control joystick. It is from here that you will operate this machine. There are two sets of controls. One will be located right in front of you with a hand grip. The others will be a little further down the joystick. The joystick is located here. Using your thumb, you will operate this toggle switch. It moves left, right, and you can push it upwards and downwards. By placing your thumb directly on the front of this toggle switch, you can now press either left or right, and subsequently your forks will shift either to the left or to the right. This can be especially helpful inside trucks when placing a load to try to get it as close to the side of the truck as possible. This toggle switch can also be moved either up or down. When you press up, from underneath of the switch, your forks will tilt back and your load will become placed firmly against your backrest. When you press down on the top of this switch, this will lower your forks to the ground. Never lower your forks while you have a load in the air and always put a load against your backrest when picking up and traveling. The last thing we see on this part of the joystick is the horn. It is conveniently accessed by your thumb and should be used quite frequently to alert pedestrians to your whereabout and at all crossings in your warehouse. Now we will go over the second set of controls located at the base of your joystick. After you have come to a complete stop, lift straight up on the joystick and subsequently your forks will raise off the ground to the height desired. Once you have retrieved your load, press straight down on this lever and your forks will return to the ground. Remember to always travel around the warehouse with your forks slightly elevated off of the floor. The final set of controls will move this machine either forks forward or forks trailing. To move forks forward, press the lever away from you or to the left. To move forks trailing, pull the lever towards you or to the right. When traveling, always travel with forks trailing. Only use forks forward when entering a load. While traveling, you will be steering with a knob located here. It is important to always face the direction of travel. This forklift operates from a set of back wheels, so it operates different than a car like you're used to. When going forks forward, left will be left and right will be right. When moving forks trailing, everything will be opposite. It is just something that you will have to get used to and have confidence that you can master. As shown in this slide, when you steer, the forklift will swing from the back. It is easier to drive if you start to gain muscle memory and try not to overthink this machine. If you do overthink and begin to make a mistake, simply lift up your left foot off of the dead man pedal and you will come to a complete stop. Then you can correct and continue to drive safely. For a live demonstration of everything I have gone over here, please see the link in the description for my basic crash course video of the RC5500 forklift. For my basic crash course video of the RC5500 forklift. I would like to thank you for watching and please drive safely.